Dermot was the first comic in Ireland to bridge the gap between the mainstream cabaret circuit and the alternative circuit. He'd always be trying stuff out at home, he'd always be making silly voices and mucking around with us and, uh, and, and with his friends as well. It was kind of the first Irish comedian I'd seen that wasn't doing just gag, gag, gags, kind of pre-written gags. He was writing his own stuff, yeah. and coming up with his own characters. We had the bin men outside our house that come up every Tuesday and they go, oh, is Father Trendy living in there? And we go, yeah, Father Trendy, who's Father Trendy? You know, the man with, oh, oh, Dad, yeah, he's in there. And we were little. Um, but then it became like, you know, it was Father Trendy and it was all the different characters. But then when Scrap Saturday came along, that was completely different. It was very, uh, sort of, just, it was very good, very good satire, very sophisticated satire. That would have been my first introduction to him, you know, watching him on the live mic as Father Trendy or the guy who came on with the Hurley, the GEA guy. Or... But it's, it's Ted that he'd always be remembered for. It was an amazing, incredible thing. No, the first bit I ever saw in Father Ted was uh, I turned it on and I was instantly hooked. And it was just, Bishop Brennan, I think I've just fallen down the stairs. And he launched oh, down. He I was like, himself. what is this? I don't think he'd like to be here than to be remembered. So he'd be, I think he'd be disappointed to find out that he'd passed away, but delighted to be getting some recognition for the work he'd done. Probably really, really smug, uh, probably very embarrassed, and, and um, he'd probably have his arms folded and go, uh, and that would have been kind of it, and he would have kind of, but I think, he, I, deep down, I think he would, he would have been really, really chuffed. I mean, he's become part of Irish history, and he deserves it. <laughs>